Glasgow Coma Scale, GCS, is used in intensive care units by healthcare professionals for assessing and monitoring the patient's level of consciousness. It was originally used for patients with traumatic brain injury, but its use has been extended to other types of patients. This is a three axis rating scale with an overall score from three, which is the lowest, to 15, which is the highest. The scale assesses the patient's ability to open her eyes with a score from one to four, verbal response with a score from one to five, and motor response with a score from one to six. Serial measurements using the scale can inform us whether the patient's level of consciousness is improving or deteriorating. It is worth noting that a scale scoring lower than 8 out of 15 in the context of a comprehensive clinical evaluation usually is an indication for intubation. GCS is also an integral part of other severity and prognostic scales for the patient's condition such as the SAPS-2 and Apache-2 scales. These scales are used for estimating mortality and take into consideration the worst score measured within the first 24 hours. The purpose of this presentation is to help healthcare professionals to acquire the competence to properly assess the patient's level of consciousness using GCS. The procedure of eyes reaction assessment is scored from 1 to 4 points, with 1 considered as the most severe indication since it shows that there is no response. If the patient opens eyes spontaneously without external stimulation, 4 points are given. If the patient is sleeping or lying with eyes closed, but opens his eyes with verbal command, 3 points are given. If the patient opens eyes only to painful stimuli, two points are given. If the patient does not open eyes despite a painful stimuli, one point is given. Verbal response can be rated with a total of five points. One point is considered as the lowest score that is showing no response. Ask the patient questions or try to engage in a routine conversation. A patient who is active in normal conversation properly receives five points on the GCS. This means that the patient is oriented and can answer to simple questions. In the case of a patient who makes proper discussion but is confused and disoriented like a patient with Alzheimer's, will receive four points. A patient who is unable to participate in normal conversation and is responding randomly or using exclamatory articulated speech, i.e. words without meaning, receives three points. A patient who cannot participate in a conversation, responding in incomprehensible speech or producing sounds without meaningful content, receives two points. When there is no verbal response from the patient, one point is given. Intubated patients cannot be assessed for verbal response. In this case, the lowest score is given with the letter T, indicating intubated patient or a patient with tracheostomy. A total of six points can be given for a patient's motor response, with one point set to be the lowest score. If the patient moves hands and legs, either spontaneously or following a command, six points are given.
In the case of a patient who is attempting to identify and move the stimulus away, five points are given. If the patient withdraws from a painful stimuli, that is, when he pulls away from the stimulated part, then four points are given. If the patient shows abnormal flexion accentuated by painful stimuli, i.e. decorticate posturing, then three points are given. If the patient presents extension accentuated by painful stimuli, i.e. decerebrate posturing, then two points are given. In the case the patient does not present any motor response or reaction, not even after painful stimuli, then one point is given. A GCS with a total score from 13 to 15 indicates a minor brain injury. A GCS with a total score from 9 to 12 indicates a moderate brain injury. A GCS with a total score from 3 to 8 indicates a severe brain injury.